another comment uh, comes in and uh, uh, the question is how much uh, rumen protected choline and rumen protected methine, we got to sneak those words in there, was, uh, was, uh, was given to protect the liver. And basically, I think you've got to be looking at the rumen protected choline if you're trying to uh, keep the liver lipid buildup from occurring in early lactation. And so typically that is going to be actually 15, 13 to 15 grams of rumen protected choline. That is the actual choline. Now there'll be choline products. So you're probably doubling that number. And there are some several new products that came in the market that have reduced that level from say 60 grams to 30 grams because of different uh, uh, processing of it. So be sure that's where you want. Now the methionine is uh, going to be another source of label, um, uh, methyl labeled groups and that's where the choline comes to play and makes uh exports that liver lipid out uh with as a uh, phosphatidylcholine and as a result methionine can also have that function uh and, and so but i think you're going to look at methionine as a source of amino acid maybe some new data from illinois showing some benefits on reproductive performance in wisconsin and of course uh, uh milk protein yield so i don't think it's one or the other in the grams of methionine uh, typically, you'll see uh, in the range of 10 or 12, 15 grams of rumen protected methionine. Again, look at your products. So you'll feed slightly higher levels than that. And that usually gives us the effects both in the close up program. And there's some really good research uh, from Wisconsin, Illinois, showing some benefits from rumen protected methionine in the close up feeding program. And of course, in early lactation as well, in terms of milk yield, in terms of reproductive performance, and in terms of animal health. So those are the levels I'd be looking at, but I think, uh, uh, that it is not one or the other. They have different biological functions in the dairy cow. Uh, 